Hello all my creative birds, this is Tiffany and welcome back to another episode of Goody Finds. This is um, a Goody Finds for um, thrift stores, um, secondhand thrift stores and also I had went to a um, flower and vegetable um, club gardening sale and part of that they had some, they had a few booths of um, really cool old um, bunch of old vintagey uh, stuff for sale too so I'm going to share what I found with that too um, so but first I'm going to start off with what I found it, it was at the Salvation Army and I have to apologize ahead of time because my allergies um, have been pretty bad in the last couple of days and um, I do take my allergy medicine every night, but I'm going to the doctor very soon because I might have to go like get something because she's she's described like the strongest allergy medicine for me, and um, it works better than one of you without it. But I'm still um, still not like it's it's I'm still having allergy problems. So anyways, um, just apologizing ahead of time. Um, tis the season for the allergies, but I love living here. And um, yeah, I will I will deal with taking allergy medicine to have this beautiful area that I live in. So um, these are some, and I have some not in the screen, I'll show you, I just kind of put them all. Um, some of my goodie finds that I found at the local Salvation Army. Um, and I um, will show. So first, I was just gonna start off that I found um, a few of like the note, um, the note cards. They were um, pretty cheap, and I liked the colors. And then this was a pack of like photo paper. Um, so you know, I can use that. I can still use the photo paper. So those were like a cheap find for those, and um, so I'm just going to show you that. It's not like the most exciting fun things, but they're kind of useful to add to journals and, and creating and stuff. These I thought were so cool. Um, they had boxes, like, well, a box full though, of um, all sorts of these. I'm not really sure what they originally were made for, like what they used them for, so if you know what these were originally possibly had been made for. There was tons of all sorts of fabrics and um, all sorts of them. But um, I just grabbed the two that I like because blue and yellow are like my favorite. And so, uh, yeah, leave a comment below if you know what these originally would have been for to make. But the ribbon, like fabric sheets, filling, um, there's so much I can do with this sewing journals, making the journals, journal pages, um, adding to like my, um, to tie, cause when I do my cloud swaps, I always like tie the packages together with fabric. Those would be great for that. Um, I can open this one up. I'm trying to be nice with this paper, it's not gonna work cause this is kind of cool. Cool like craft paper too to use so yeah and there's like a yellow stripe one and um yeah they were pretty pretty cheap for all that so that was pretty cool so i grabbed i just grabbed two of them but they literally was like a box full of full of all sorts but i left some behind i left some goodies behind for others to find to create with i just grabbed the two that i liked um, it's a, I always like to look for um, napkins. Napkins are really fun to add to your pages, um, like tissue papers or whatever. Especially, I like finding them like used because they're cheaper. And um, I don't know how old these are, but you know they're not brand new, so it's kind of kind of cool. And I always kind of stick a few um, few paper napkins in my um, swaps too. Um, because they're fun. You can take them apart and do like decoupaging with them. Um, you can add them to your your pages and all that fun goody stuff. I am a sucker for like old kids like workbooks. 
um, let's see, what year is, 57, because the, um, just look at, you can just, the word you can use, the images, there's always fun, um, look at how cute is that? So I always look for, um, like old, and this is obviously, you know, like a children's school book. This is what they, um, probably was reading in, like, my, my guess would be this is like a first grade, probably. I don't know. But it's so cute. I always look for these kind, because you, they, like, every page pretty much almost has some kind of image you can use. And they're always so sweet. You can use the words. Sometimes they have, like, cute little poems in there and stuff, so... I always um, try to look for that, and I like to look for um, different kinds of paper. Um, I know I have a lot of paper, and you can go to the store and buy paper, but sometimes you can find some really cool um, old faded paper like this, and this is kind of a different um, different look with the numbers and stuff. Like I haven't seen a paper like that, so um, that was kind of cool. Yeah, to journal pages and stuff like that. And I always look for flower books. And this is about roses. And um, I always try, when I look for, because I have a lot of flower and plant books. And uh, I just started off, um, anytime I find a flower, oh, a flower plant book, I get it. But um, now I'm more picky about what I am. Um, what I look for. I always look for like really good, mostly I like, um, I like colored images, but I also, if they're really good old, I'm not, I have a few I'll show you, um, that I found, but, um, black and white images on the paper are cool too. Um, but I like where, you know, good, good bright flower images like this I can cut out and and use so that was um, a cool book and then Rudolph I thought would be fun for a Christmas a Christmas journal book and these are just really cute images what year is this this is 58 Oh, no, 85. It was originally 58, but this one was um, 85. And then, um, 70 favorite stories for young readers. So here's another one that, um, there's not as many um, images in here, but the images that they do have in here are, um, are pretty cool. And, and then it's just nice to have um, giraffe, um, just pages with words because you can just use those as lots of things I use them for background when I decompage um, my my um, like my wood signs and stuff like that I uh, I always layer book pages down and stuff, so like collaging and all that kind of stuff. This cover alone seriously is, I don't know, it's kind of really big for, to use for a journal, but that would be actually kind of fun. I don't know, this, this, like, it's seriously really cute. Um, let's see if there is 71 and uh, yeah this is just a really really cool book just look at these like artwork images in here This is a fun, fun, fine book. I was very excited about this. And then, 
the Norman Rockwells. Um, this is the Four Seasons. I have another one of, um, oh, and then I found cards. I always look for cards too because um, you can cut that out and add that as an embellishment on your page. The envelopes I stick in my journal pages, used for journal card hiders. Um, yeah, so I always try to look for like old looking floral floral cards. This I can just cut out and use that as like a journaling card. So yeah, I, I always try to look at cards too when I go to thrift stores. And um, so I have another one of his. It's kind of was like an outdoorsy men kind of little boys fishing and stuff. And this is Four Seasons. These are just fun. Um, I always like to find art, um, artist books. Like I have some Monet ones. I have um, some Van Goghs. I have a few of them. I love art. Um, I taught my my boys art from like for like four years. I was their art teacher at their school. Loved that. Um, but anyway, I like to add um, like this would be fun image to add to a Christmas. So yeah, I kind of look for art. Um, and in these ones, this um, Norman Rockwell ones, they're all the ones that I found of his books are all kind of pretty much laid out the same. So they're great image um, to use in journals. And there's always poetry. There's poetry. Um, and I like to add poetry too from all different um, poets. There's like poetry on every page. So I always look for his stuff because they're, they're um, great images to use and there's always poetry in, in it. So, and I just cleaned my um, scrapbooking room and I'm trying to find books and I have more books. <laughs> but, um, so that is one part. So then here's some other fun goodies. Um, I found two sets of uh, pillowcases. I like to use the fabric for making covers. This is like cute ribbon that you can add to trims. I also make a lot of my purses. I home make purses and I use a lot of sheets and stuff to make my purses. Um, this is also another great if you scan scan these images in you can make like fun journal or paper things um yeah there's some i actually my uh my um i might cut it in so you can see but my curtains that i have hanging up in here they originally were um curtains that i made in for our house that we lived in california because i had a very um we had chickens and stuff so i kind of had like a farmy kitcheny feel and i had made those for the kitchen, but they're in here. But I made them out of thrift store sheets. So um, I will do a little scan of a little video to show you them, and I'm gonna I'll I'll put them in here so you can see um, what um, what they look like. But I did make them out of um, thrift store sheets that I found. So. These are like the wallpaper borders. And um, I know you guys are thinking, why do you have wallpaper borders? Well, let me show you. Look at all of this that you can cut out, seriously, and add. And they're like wallpaper, so they're easy to decoupage. You don't even have to add it to your journal. You can add them to like decorative boxes. You can add them to the covers of your journal. You can do anything with these. Like, seriously. Um, I usually always um, share my stuff with my slops. I, uh, I'll find stuff and then when it's like a lot like that, I will like divide it and then keep some for myself and then put it in for my swaps. But um, yeah, like look at Seriously, can use these for, for journals, uh, journal covers, 
you can make a lot of stuff. I, um, of course, as you guys probably noticed, I grabbed the um, flower ones. There was once, like, like these, there was a whole box full of all sorts of, of them. But I looked for the ones that, um, that, oh, this is from, from the York, from here, New York, Pennsylvania. They made these here. Maybe that's why there was a whole lot of them, because maybe it was like a company that made it locally. Um, so here is, and these are pretty old. I don't know how old. There's not really a date, but you can tell that they're quite old. Um, so once again, I'm sorry for my allergy nose. But, um, yeah, you can add these fun things, things outside the box, spurge things outside of the box for when you're creating. You can create with anything. Seriously, you can. Look at this. This one, I couldn't wait to like, get home and open up because... It just looks like happy spring, happy spring, seriously. And they're all different, like, I love that it's like cut out like that. So I'm excited to start playing with these and see what I come up with with creating them. Creating with with all these fun goodies. So that was that, and then I have um, some more of this trip. I had I had a really good trip this time to the Salvation Army. There's a few few um, thrift stores that I I go to. Um, there's a few around here that I check out. So. Um, Sometimes I'll go and scan all the Goodwills or the Salvation Army. We have a community aid one, and that's a really nice one. But they're always like, it's like the cleanest thrift stores I've ever seen. The community ones are all completely organized. Their clothes are like, it's just, they're really nice. Um, those ones, they're um, like in Harrisburg and Lancaster, which is both like two different directions. And they're both pretty much like 40 minutes from me. Um, but they are making one here very close, actually right by my Tuesday morning. So, oh no, <laughs> it's like literally right across the street from my Tuesday morning. It's not opened yet, but that's going to be a hard time because then I will have Tuesday morning, Joanne Fabrics and the community aid thrift store right, <laughs> right there. But, um, so I found, um, some, um, tea and, and dishes and stuff in, Two reasons, and I will be sharing more too that I found from um, that flower um, vegetable um, fair I went to with my neighbor. But a, I do collect like tea. I have I love teas. If you guys ever noticed some of my videos, I do. I love um, teas. I used to belong to a tea party group, which was amazingly fun. It was actually a lot of it was like all my friends, but we had tea once a month. Um, so I do find, I try to look for things to add to my tea set, but also if you all have followed me most of the time, I'm building a garden and I've been looking for things to make stepping stones. So yes, some of these, and um, if you're going to yell at me for doing this, but some of these are going to get broken. <laughs> Maybe not all of them. I'm going to look through all of them. I'm going to save some. I'm going to examine what they are, but some of these are going to get broken to add pieces two stepping stones I'm going to make. Um, some of these are going to probably be turned into like bird feeders. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to add uh, fun tea stuff to my garden. So this was a creamer that I actually really like this creamer. It's chipped already. If it wasn't chipped, I think I probably would um, keep this one for my set because it looks pretty clean inside and I really liked the pattern. Um, but it's already chipped, but it was uh, 99 cents, so seriously. And then I found this one, um, great little violets, 
um, images to add to the stepping stones and stuff. I think it's a little too deep and small for like a feeder or whatever, so that'll probably go to my stepping stones. And then um, this, the roses and stuff, um, these little pieces will be really great to add to, um, to make stepping stones in the garden. This one was a really cool, this one I actually could possibly do a bird bath, I can maybe drill or something. This could definitely be like a bird bath or a bird feeder or something. So that was stuff that I all found at my um, my local Salvation Army. And then I'm going to share with you what I found at, besides like hundreds of dollars of flowers that I found for my garden. <laughs> my husband was like... Well, he didn't really care. He, he was kind of happy that I found this stuff. But I did spend a lot of money that day at that thing. But he just built me a brand new, fresh, open canvas of a garden. Garden vegetables and my flowers. And I needed to plant things. So, yeah, I found a lot, a lot of flowers that day. And I came home and I planted them all. So, but I also found a few books. And I found some dishes I'll show you. But first, look at it. Bird watching digest from the 80s. Seriously. Um, yeah. They were, she, they were like 50 cents, I think. 25 cents or 50 cents for these. I don't remember, but um, I wish they had more. <laughs> I probably would have bought more. But seriously, look. Like, where is that at? Look at these little. Um, where did it go? just saw them. I mean, there's old ads. Look at I can cut these out and add to my pages. Seriously. And then this, I'm actually going to make um, a garden journal to A, because, you know, I love creating and journaling, but just kind of help me with keeping track of my journal and making it, or my garden and making it fun. So this I thought was great because, um, well they have like, you can, you know, some of the pages, like these pages are good just to throw um, as pages inside journals. Um, so you can just decorate over it and stuff like that. Um, but they had these. And I was like, how is some of this, well, actually a lot of this stuff I planted in the garden, so um, I can use these in my garden journal. Um, like the old, the old image and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought that was, this was pretty good too. And yeah, they were like, like 50 cents for this, seriously. This was 19... 1975 and yeah this book this book is 1970 and this is great for all sorts of journaling arting everything this is like this is this is a good book for for using and then um, this was another old gardening book, Flowering Shrubs. And this was uh, 1966. So in these, like I said I, earlier about finding um, flower books, I usually color, but these are like really good black and white images. So um, these are great for in your journals. So this was, um, yeah, I went and bought a whole bunch of flowers. There's some colored images here. But I went and bought a whole bunch of flowers, but also found gardening books. And old gardening books too. So that, that's, um, that was fun. But now I will show you more dishes I found. 
this set, this is actually a set I found, like $2, all, all the stuff that I found that I, um, I paid $8 for those books that I found and then all these dishes I'm going to show you. She just was like $8. So, um, I do have a, um, teacup of this pattern. So, like I said before, some of it I am going to see if I can keep a little bit of it in my collection. Um, other of them are going to get broken up and be added as stepping stones in my garden. And some, like the platters, are really fun if you like drill a hole with chains um, to add for like little bird feeders to hang out there, or like um, bird baths, or even the the butterflies like they like to have water. Um, I'm very, I planted a lot of butterfly, hummingbird, bees friendly stuff. Um, the butterflies like to have water, but they can't be like really deep. So things like this, where you just um, add a, just a little bit of water, they say to add some stones and maybe a couple little sponges for the butterflies to stop and drink in. You can also add like, a, like one of those railings, um, um, stair railing, um, wood rods and just kind of like decorate paint that and put it in the ground and let it you know attach this to it and that could be um, you can do that with that and maybe if you guys are interested comment below let me know if you're interested in seeing because um, I do I am doing a lot of gardening videos I haven't edited them yet because um, I'm having issues with getting uh, my photos off my phone onto my computer to edit because there's so many different with the gardens. I, I can't do the editing for my phone like I normally do with my journaling because my journaling is just one straight long video. I cut some things out, I do the voiceover, it's done. The gardening process is a lot of different things that I need a computer for and I am trying to be technical and try to figure all that out. But right now I'm having really big issues with getting the photos off my phone to my computer and um, I do need a new computer. I need a new sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, let me know. Anyways, before I went on that whole rant. Um, oops. Let me know um, if you're interested in seeing videos of me doing all this stuff. Um, transforming this into garden things. Um, so yeah, comment below and let me know if you would like to see those. Um, it's not a really old magazine, uh, newspaper, but they had it lined up in the, in there, and I was like, oh, I can go through here and find some images, too, because I like adding newspapers to my journals. Um, so, here is a little creamer with that set, and, er, sorry, sugar bowl, not a creamer. Um, here's a little creamer. Here's the creamer that goes with that set. And there was um, a whole bunch of plates. Once again, these would be perfect. Add a little doll, that little. Um, be good to add in the ground. These are perfect for butterfly drinking, um, for the water for the butterflies because it's not deep at all. That would would be really great. And also it's flat surface so that would be really good for um, to add to the stepping stones too. And then here's some bottoms to some teacups and I'm going to check my teacups because I have a couple that are missing bottoms. I think I actually have this pattern already. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Those books I showed you and all this I'm showing you, I only paid $8 for. Um, yeah, a little sugar holder. This actually, I really like this. I think this is going to be a vase that I'm going to keep. I'm going to turn this into a vase, I think. Because, um, 
Yeah. And this went with one of the, um, this. But, um, I'm going to add, I think this is going to be part of a stepping stone. And then lastly, a little bit more of the, um, tea cup saucers. But these are perfect for, for my garden. This is really cute too. I like that. I don't know if that one is going to get broken, but, and then this. So, um, I am going to check to see if there's any crazy value to any of these first. Um, I'm going to keep a couple of them for my collection. Like this, I think I'm going to turn into a vase. Um, but I think most of this is going to end up in my garden, either in stepping stones or as um, bird baths and butterfly baths or feeders. Um, so yeah, that, all this and those books for $8, pretty crazy. So anyways, um, I don't know if you enjoyed all this little, like, goodie finds of, my goodie find videos seem to be, um, my most viewed video videos that I make, so I'm gonna, gonna keep on sharing all my goodies that I find with you guys, and, um, I think I will. I mean, you comment before below to let me know if you are interested in those videos, but I think I am going to um, video some of my process of, of doing this stuff in my garden because I've been just videoing my garden and it's a part of creating my garden is adding the fun stuff. Um, my husband's like, your little whims whims whimsy, uh, whimsy garden or whatever. I'm like, yes. It's totally going to be a whimsical, fun garden, because, yeah, it's going to. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed some of my goodie finds here. I know this was a little bit of a longer one, but I, I had a lot of good, um, good stuff. It wasn't a Tuesday morning <laughs> one, which seems to be, like, my most popular ones are the Tuesday morning finds. Um... But I don't always just buy things from Tuesday morning. I like to go out. I love digging through thrift stores. Um, like antique. I have tons of antique shops around me. I love, um, I love that. I mean, when, when my money is allowing me to go explore. <laughs> I go explore. Um, but, yep, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that button. Uh, please comment below if you'd like to see um, more gardening video or not more because I haven't made them yet but if you'd like to see gardening videos um, what, what I do with this stuff um, if you have any questions and um, if you like to share the love because I like sharing love um, and if you're new to my channel welcome here thank you for um, stopping by and hitting that play button to watch my video and that you made it all the way through this long video. I appreciate it. Thank you. And like always, spread love, sunshine, and s or nope, sorry, wrong. Love, smiles, and sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. store sheets that I made um, so they were sheets and I just um, cut them in panels and um, the ruffles was off of a like a blanket ruffle thing and then um, with the back side I just added some fabric to the back side but yeah what I made out of their store sheets. <laughs>